So as we tell y'all every week, man, even during the break, the conversations usually continue to go on and on, and this one did as well. But we back, classic conversation with JT and Lowe. And that's a cup. And as I said before, man, my man JT is out there in Pittsburgh getting ready for his big play, man. So shouts out to my man JT. Shouts out. Do your out. thing, brother. Break a leg. There you go. There it is. But those of you who are watching, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We're on Amazon Music. We're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. We're on TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook. We all over the place, man. Do, do you know why they say break a leg? It's a reason. Nah. So that you'll end up in a cast. Ah. Oh. Facts. Facts. You're not just funny, are you? Yeah, <laughs> it's well read. It's, the more you know. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I ain't you know. Learn that. something every day. Every day, man. Every day. So listen, um, there's also a statement about gatekeepers. Um, so we go around the table, man, and, and what's your thoughts? Do you believe that they are, quote unquote, gatekeepers in the industry in general? And Daryl Dam, even into the, in the comedy world, are there gatekeepers? And how does that go about? Um... From a business standpoint, you got to understand that there's always gatekeepers okay. in business. You know what I mean? It's always, it's going to always be a, a checkpoint that you have to pass to get to specific levels. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just like with an amateur comedian. It's like an amateur comedian can do shows at every bar and grill in the city, mm -hmm. but before they get booked at Uptown, Low got to see them. Lee got to see him, or somebody that Lee and Low opinion they you know value their opinion, they got to see him. So it's it's, it's going to always be a process, and people don't like gatekeepers because more times than not, the disagreeable, confrontational people are heard about by the gatekeepers. So when they try to come up to the gate, like, hey, God, he's like, oh no, nigga, I already heard you shitty, mm -hmm. or my partner don't like you. So I ain't gonna do nothing with you. So it's 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 as simple as that. You know what I mean? But one thing about America is if if people want it, somebody gonna give you a contract for it. You got you can have if you got three million Indian motherfuckers that love you to death, you can go to India and get money. So it's a gatekeeping the gatekeeping thing to me personally, that's dead now. Cause you can round up your own crowd. Right. You can do your style of comedy on social media, round up all the people that think you funny. Not trying to filter through the people who like you, dislike you all. You could just filter all because the people who like you gonna follow you. Just round them up, get a million of them, and take that shit on the road. Let me, let me, let, go ahead, Mike. I'm, I'm, I go ahead. Well, another thing I look at is I see your point of view, but it's also kind of false because the gatekeepers talk about the real money. We're not talking about right. three million. We're talking about the movie contracts, the TV shows. It's the same. And I think if you look at Chappelle mm -hmm. when Chappelle left, uh, you look at uh, Cat Williams been saying this long. A long time. Uh, Jamie Foxx brought it up a little bit. And I think if you look at the people, uh, Epstein, he brought Epstein up in this. But if you look at Epstein, Puffy, uh, Oprah Winfrey, and I, the only reason I kind of believe it, all the mud has been slung her way. She hasn't made a statement. But if you also know, the major networks haven't picked it up either. That's the reason I think there's some truth to some of this. Because all this dirt that's been put out there, it's all over the internet. And Facebook and YouTube because you can put it out there, but the actual media outlets are turning a blind eye to it. Right, and, and, and people only, well, entertainers only have issues with gatekeepers when the gatekeeper don't like them. You know what I mean? <laughs> when the gatekeeper don't like you, now you, talking, now you want to talk about gatekeepers, but there's so many people that the gatekeepers do like and do help get into different positions and all of that. So my mindset, when, just when it comes to entertainment, it's like, you feel me? I'm just going, I'm going to do what the universe requires, and that's stay in motion. You feel me? I just try to stay in motion and not worry about the little shit as far as gatekeepers. Because there's always going to be people, like, if, 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 if I do something to somebody that Angelo wanted to connect me with, right? And I did something to him without Angelo knowing. It's like, when he go and try to pitch it to him, dude going to be like, oh, hell no, I don't fuck with Daryl Dan. But I still had to... I had this, because it's, a, it's, a, it's levels. It's like, I gotta send it to low before I can, like if I wanna do improvs, 
and Low is connected with the guy who do the improv. But I got in tune with the guy with the improv, and I try to tell Low, hey, Low, look, hey, I could do that shit. And then he goes, hey, man, I got a funny dude for you. And the improv dude, nah, he the gatekeeper. He the gatekeeper. Nah, nah, I don't fuck with him. So before I ask my follow-up to that, Daryl, uh, I'm going to get Millennium in the conversation in terms of the gatekeepers. What's your thoughts on it? Because you're in the, in, in the industry in terms of you see a lot of stuff as well. Um, I look at it, gatekeeping is like entrepreneurship, realistically, because you're a business owner. So sometimes you have to gatekeep for, one, to protect your brand and relationships with other people. Um, I know it's like a hard thing to swallow for a lot of people out there, but realistically, it's a business. It's fun. It's an art form. But it's necessary. It's, it's necessary because right. sometimes you got to filter out some stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's emotions put in behind stuff. That's because of bad relationships and bad communication. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you can come to a compromise with people, uh, especially when it comes down in, in entertainment because most of the stuff is he say, she right. say stuff. And ma majority of the time, people don't actually have a conversation. Right. But I think the, the gatekeeping is, is necessary to a certain extent. I think it's, uh, you know, we've had the pleasure of working with Kevin um, in the past uh, and kind of seeing the inner workings of how it work. He, he provides, you know what I'm saying, for people. Like, once they get a check, they don't just get the check for them. They literally give people jobs. Right. They, pro they provide. And that's the thing. Sometimes as a gatekeeper, though, because the reality is if he gets $10 million, of course, five of that million going to the government. We know that. So he got five million to play with. Double gains tax. But, but and then then instead of him just taking the five million, like I'm rich, bitch, this motherfucker give it back by giving people jobs. Now you're giving people jobs, and so we look at it as gatekeeping. But I'd be like, well, it's really entrepreneurship because he he's invested in himself and his brand. But you got to pay people, and if people are not showing up to work on time, or if you're not putting in the work, you're not putting in the effort, or you know you got a bad attitude on set. Yeah. Why would I want you on the and, and that's 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 I think in my opinion that's business one on one. You gotta be mindful of who and what is representing yeah. your business. You know what I mean? It's like just like I, I all I always go back to uptime because we always can relate to it. It's like because of Angelo and Lee's mindset in business, bug is not at the dough sagging, smelling like weed. You feel me? Doing the most. Like so it's it's, it's the same thing. It's like when people are mindful about what's going to represent their brand, you got to have a gatekeeper, man. You can't yeah. just well, let anybody in because now, because then it get to a point where the people who coming in are the representation. And if they just, if they thugs, fighting, gang banging, rags, all that type of crazy shit, you don't want to, because well, the people who really spend money go the other way of that That's shit. why I rap the I, way it is. I totally feel what you two are saying, but I don't think that's the gatekeeping they're talking about. The gatekeeping they're talking about that's just business. You're right. That's I'm low. I'm saying. 100%. Entertainment. Since I've known it. But the point that they're looking at ain't the gatekeepers that it's about the money or if you can make money for me or if you can do right. It's a fact. Say all three of y'all on the same level. Or got to, like, say if Megan Thee Stallion's here. Uh, <laughs> you have uh, that filthy red. And he whoever said, else. He said filthy red. red. That was you fun. Have, you have that, 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 that was so, comedy. Now... If I'm standing there and I said the person that's going to get the job is not the best rapper, but the one that gives me the best fellatio blowjob, mm. that's the gatekeeping they're talking about. I'm going to do. Right, 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 right. I got you. That's what they're talking oh, about. Oh, you mean, so, okay. Yeah, no, that's what I feel, I, 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 I okay. see what that, that, Okay, that's, that's why I said I would let them finish, but I was yeah. about to my follow-up because you're 100% correct. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that okay. is okay. the gatekeeper. Okay. Oh, oh. Like, okay. No, no, okay. no, no, because, see, because <laughs> when I'm thinking gatekeeper, I'm just thinking somebody, the, the gatekeeper. For example, let me give you an example, Daryl. Okay. No, from what he said, I, I think I'm with y'all now, but go ahead. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm over here like. It's like, if you want to get in this gate, that's what Cat was talking about. See, that's what Cat was talking about. That's perversion. I wouldn't yeah. do it. But that's what he was talking about. Yeah, I feel like, like that's part, manipulation. Like, so that's not gatekeeping. Like when he hit Ricky I'm saying it's the gatekeeper but, doing it. But it's the, ga the yeah, gatekeeper's doing, doing it. But, right. but, but that, and that's my point where it's like sometimes we give titles to people and they don't really be the people. Mm. You ever thought about that? Like sometimes it's like, who is Epstein? Nobody can ever explain who he is. They just say he's a billionaire. And did what? Yeah. Yeah. What did he open doors for besides kids? No, nah, movies. He was, he I mean, but, but, but he was besides and all that, his, 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 his people know who they are. But but that's but that's my point. So it's like you really ain't the gatekeeper. 
you just you found a position where you was like, ooh. You just a freaky ass. Yeah, you just a yeah, you a weirdo. A freaky, yeah, a freaky weird nigga. You was like, game. ooh, and then you was like, I know a guy. Right. But you're not really a gatekeeper. You just I, I ain't gonna tell you. You really the connect. You really just it's like your it's like your dope boy trying to hey bro I got that good no you don't that's trying to take a shortcut I mean Daryl Daryl think about this how many and be and be real how many comedians do you feel like you be intimidated by sharing the stage with say it one more time how many comedians do you feel like you would be intimidated by sharing the stage with intimidated intimidated <laughs> nah no nah. okay. Do you feel like you can make yourself, you can be funny on any stage you go to? Yeah. All right. So, do you feel like there are people like you who don't get on those tours for a reason? Yeah, without question. What's the reason? Um, a lot of times, the headliner just wants to be the funniest person on the show. It's a you gatekeeper. To a certain extent, <laughs> yeah. To a certain extent. You, keep, you, you, you lock people out yeah. for whatever your... Yeah, because really? you have the power in this scenario. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it's deeper than that. And you, you don't give you don't give shots. Yeah, right. You know? And then you pick. It goes back to your point: is you handpick certain people, and then you have to ask yourself, huh? Why they pick that person? Right. Let's see, low. You when I when I know, I'm um, a hundred yeah. times funnier right. than that person. And yeah. then you may start seeing some things. You know, or go to those Hollywood parties, and and then you like, huh? That's why you pick that person. It's just like you said, the <laughs> gatekeepers. When a gatekeeper's doing something, it's just like you touched on a lot of times on the show. Certain comedians come to Atlanta, and this is the black mecca for comedy in Atlanta was before is now, and they don't go because the gatekeepers have put them in a certain line. This is what you're gonna do. This is your next step. That's why I think the power comes from. So when a comedian is sitting there, it's like making a stallion told me. <laughs> number, <laughs> number, okay, number three for the night. You know, but on the okay. seriousness, when okay, what he said about um, Kevin Hart, don't know if it's true, don't know if it's not true, but a lot of people have been saying that. They were saying it about. Puffy, they said his affiliation with Puffy. And so you see that, and I'm just real. If, if somebody came out and said, Daryl Down, you was doing X, X, and X on Midtown last week, you coming out the very next day, you probably gonna whoop the ass, but you definitely gonna get on the mic and say something. Right. So when they Daryl they gonna pull up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pull up. Yeah, but right. the point is now. I got iPhones. Send me your location. <laughs> <laughs> that's a believer. Yeah, that's when you got to start talking, thinking about believability, because all these people that play hard or they're a certain way, and when somebody makes an allegation about you, unless you're a member of the LGBTQ, that would be like, damn. That's like you got to fire back. You just can't let that one go. Like you kind of right. rush it off like you did. You got to uh, just an entertainment period, man. It, it's, it's just like any other business. It's just that. People, I think, I think, I, I I can't think of a person who wouldn't do it once they start getting a certain type of money. You know what I mean? It's like if I if I if I'm if I have the ability to change your life, you feel me? I may use whatever benefit. Now, if I'm a freaky freaky nigga, then I'm gonna use that power to benefit me from a sexual standpoint. But if I, you know, whatever I like, if I'm in a position where I'm changing niggas, like me opening this door is gonna change your life, yeah, nigga. Hey, hey, man, do 40 push-ups and 10 jumping jacks, and then stand on one foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, just, just to fuck around, but. You know, number one, just point out something, and I was gonna get to it, but I'll just go ahead and address it, you know. Another perfect example. There was a certain numb nuts comedian that made a bunch of deflammatory remarks about. Right. Who you think instructed that person to do that? Yeah, exactly. these, these, you know, and then you have people who are trying to block comedians from coming playing this club. Who you think trying to do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. These are all gate. These, these are all these are all definitions of yeah, <laughs> you know gatekeepers. I mean? uh, you know, uh, yeah. Don't don't yeah. don't play up to me. You know, yeah. And they're telling them. The Damn. agencies are telling them. Don't no no no. Yeah, no. We yeah. want you to play up up there in Norcross. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to go down there. Damn, like Chappelle, crazy. He just gets on the stage. This is real. Yeah. That's crazy. This is real. And 
Yeah. It's at the improv and like Dave Chappelle blows in the town. It's always at a white club. It's never at a, you know, stuff like that when he just picks up a mic and walks to somebody's stage. So you got to look at that aspect, aspect of it. And I think it's, you know, Oprah has been hit like by 29 punches and she don't have a single public bruise. Right. Yeah, because you don't say nothing. But my point is, that's where you got to look at some of it. Is it valid or not? Because she doesn't have a single bruise, but there's been no rebuttal of it. And everything that was said is so inflammatory that you could get hit with a civil lawsuit by what you're saying. And for somebody to duck a punch at her level. Yeah. Well, she dug a punch because they need to keep her in place. She has to be. Oh, yeah, that's my point. That's that, what I'm saying. That, that, that gatekeeper yeah. for right. she. If you want to get, like, she went to go get Taraji, well, they, how do you do it? Let's send Oprah. Right. To go right. do it. She can't tell Oprah. She's not no. going to tell Oprah, no. Yeah. Can't tell her. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, right. that's how that jump that's works. Real, so, you, so you can't mess up her name, because then who you going to send? You know what I mean? Who's going to be that, that, that mediator person? Right. We got we to gotta have that person in place. All right. So we, we got to keep that feminist mindset hey, connected what? to the industry. <laughs> and she doing it for us. <laughs> no, no, true. no doubt about it. So now you have things such as him saying stuff about Ludacris' wife, for example. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Ludacris responds in a rap. Boy, right. can I say something? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll tell you something. You know you got to be pissed off at anybody to be like, I'm about to hit the booth. Right. Bro, you had to be pissed. Yeah. Like, Before you hit the bo- bo- booth, bo- you was like, this, this nigga. nigga. What? <laughs> this nigga, man. Because I was like, look. <laughs> bro, I was confused. When he was talking about the pork chop sideburns, it took me a minute. I was like, who got pork chop sideburns? Yeah, yeah. I had forgot Luda even had hair. You know what bro. I'm saying? He been in Fast and oh. Furious so long, I just had kind of gave up on him rapping. Cat went crazy. Thank, thank you, Cat Williams. Dog, we going to get a Luda crazy. album soon. Three songs gonna be at least about at least the Migos and Cat right. Williams. Man, Cat three because I'm sitting here just replaying the 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 podcast in my head. Like he had something for the Migos. He had something. For the, what was your thought yeah. on Ricky Smiley? What 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 were my thoughts on Ricky Smiley? What Cat oh, said about Ricky Smiley? Boy. Mm. <sighs> it's hard. It's hard because I'm like Ricky is like a genuinely good guy yeah. bro like not no like I, the first time I ever met Ricky we was outside the old uptown now he already Ricky Smiley he got the biggest show on the radio he already Ricky Smiley and he just sat out that bitch and talked to us for hours telling us how he got shot with a 12 gauge and all type of crazy shit I was like like you don't even look like a nigga that would be around that type of shit but then when he told the story I was like damn Ricky Smiley got shot with a 12 gauge right. He, uh, two people was getting into an altercation and he told he went over there to break it up, and the dude was like, "Man, basically you're not gonna shoot me something like that." He turned and shot. He was like, "I ain't gonna shoot you," and turned and shot Ricky. Boom! But he told the dude in front of him he was gonna shoot him, but he turned and shot Ricky. <laughs> to show him that again. Like nigga, I'm about that life. I got. Yeah, it's like nigga, I'm, boosh, nigga, I'm, I shot somebody on notes, and I dumped you, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, he told me, he told us that story. I was like that, but Ricky is like, he a good guy, man. It's like, I hope the intention was malicious, well malicious, if that makes sense. It's like, he ain't. Well, now nah, Ricky been selling out, shit, at least two thousand, selling out, bro. Anywhere Ricky goes, sell out. Since two thousand, sold out. Back. So it's like I love his callers. Why? Uh, I, I don't see a reason to even come at Ricky because Ricky is a good guy, man. So, well, but it came whatever. out based on what Ricky said in the mm-hmm. movie that he was offered. Oh the yeah, role. that's oh, what yeah. that's what spurred yeah. it. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, it, I, I don't, I, I won't ever find a problem with somebody correcting a lie if it was a lie. I don't know if it was a lie, but if it was a lie, shit, then correct it. Especially if you're a part of the lie, because he did. Ricky say he was supposed to be Money Mike or something. Well, that that was that was the, what Cat said was a lie. That that but, was a perspective thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then he brought a a bigger liar on the radio to defend it to defend the lie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He brought he brought he brought the biggest liar to defend what was already a lie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And Cat, so, Cat, man, Cat is fucking. What's that word they used to say? Uh, Bruce Lee was. He was goddamn. Well, uh, no, I look at it all, he was word. goddamn Go and I look at it, pinpoint basically. You know what really bothers uh-huh. me about it is 
Monique's career was almost destroyed, and she was saying the exact same thing as Cat's saying. But Cat's got a financial status where he can say what he wants to. He got money, and this show sell out all the time. I'll go to his next one. But Monique kind of got flip filleted by challenging the gatekeepers, Oprah and everybody else. She straight up called them out, and I, me for one, I was saying, well, not Oprah. And then Steve Harvey, if you remember when she came on Steve Harvey's show, Steve Harvey tap danced like Fred Astaire. Right. All yeah. the way off the stage. And she was hitting him with facts, and nobody took it as facts. And, I, and it's almost sad that nobody came and backed her when everybody knew it was true. It's like she stood up, and everybody else kept their head down. Right. Well, the difference, was, the difference was Monique went right at the gatekeepers. Cat went at the people that the gatekeepers are supporting. Right. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cat went at those mm. guys. Y'all yeah. y'all are with the gatekeepers. Right. Monique went right directly to the I'm talking about at yeah. the gatekeepers. Yeah. Saying they names. <laughs> <laughs> Just called them all out. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And then another difference is Cat is still touring comedian. During that time, you gotta remember Monique has pretty much went into full blown acting. Right. So she needed them. Mm. Cat don't need them. Right. Cat been selling out for just as long, just as long, and bigger arenas. Right. You know what I mean? Ricky right. selling out, you know, nice places. Cat selling out arenas. You know what I mean? So there's a, there's a, there's a drastic, big, drastic in complaint. Correct, <laughs> correct. And with that, we're right back. Classic conversation with JTLO. And that's the cop. Hey yo, we back. Classic conversation with JTLO. And that's the cop. And once again, if you haven't done so, man, please like, share, and subscribe. We're on Amazon, comment. Amazon, YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, IG, TikTok, MySpace. <laughs> 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 hey, we everywhere, man. So subscribe, man. All you got to do is push that button, man. Like push that. the button. Algorithm. There push you the go. damn button. Push the button. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you know, another great conversation, man, talking about this uh, Cat Williams thing, man. This thing can go all around, but um, but good conversation. So, we're going to dig. No comments, right? I don't have to read any. We good? Okay, man. Those on my page. I want to make sure I miss JT. That's all. I saw some people on his feed, too. All right, good deal. Good deal. We'll make sure... Number one says she don't think the neighborhood is funny. I like the neighborhood. I think that show is absolutely hilarious. I think the writers do a great Parenthood? job on that show. So the I'm neighborhood, great. one of the set entertainers on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that show. I think. It's, I don't I th think I've ever seen it. Really? No, yeah, I don't think either. I've ever seen it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I think the writers do a great little, job. Yeah, it's some some parts. Of it. Just again, that's why I say comedy is just so subjective. Yeah, I, I would have, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't look at it. I look at it. I just know I can't comment on it because I ain't never seen it. Yeah, like I've seen, yeah. say you can act in one movie. <laughs> <laughs> Get the microphone. <laughs> when Sid had his sketch comedy on Fox for that brief time, it was all right. It was it was funny. Yeah, you think funny. So? I didn't yeah. think that was funny at all. No, I was about to say I don't know about that. That <laughs> yo, yo, showcase yo, yo, was yo, horrible. Yo, right I thought it was horrible. Yeah, that was. I mean, he tried. But that was. He tried. Yeah, it was. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't like it either. It maybe maybe he did it early on his Ro career. Roscoe but. Jenkins. That's yeah, it. Ros Roscoe Jenkins is funny. That's the only movie. Yeah, That's it. He got to be said. Yeah, he got that to, was it. That was it. He got to be it. himself totally. I can respect that one. No. Johnson Family Reunion or Vacation? I think that's what it is. Johnson yeah. Family Vacation? Trash. Trash. Hey, I'm going to get five things very, right now. I just want to ask one quick question. Comedian still in jokes. What about it? Thoughts? Um, Me personally, I, 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 I care to a certain extent. But I feel like I'm creative enough. I just come up with something else. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bitch ass move. It's a, you feel me? It's it's disrespecting the craft. It's disrespecting the etiquette because it's the at the end of the day, comedians, like, we're driven by our the interpretation of our opinions. Like we when we do shows, we only doing them because y'all laughter confirms what we thought was funny. So it's like. If you take what, like, if you take it, like, I got, I, man, I, my, so many of my jokes have been stolen and done right in front of me. That's how you know when niggas stealing jokes mm. because they do it so much 
that they forgot where they steal it from. Mm. I done had comedians come to me, damn, damn, you, you can't do it, my job. I'm like, nigga, no, no, you, you just started doing that after me. I did that in 2011, bro. It was the voice. Yeah. Now I'm gonna be listening for that voice. So, oh, that was him. And, and you know, just when it comes to stealing jokes, it's like, it's an effort made to do it. Mm. You feel me? To so mm. that that's where the disrespect is. It's like. Some you know some jokes is just stock, and you may hear a slew of comedians say like when they f when we first start the show, if your birthday make some noise, negative pregnancy tests, uh, you know shit like that, celebrations, you know just that type of stuff. like certain things is stock. But when you take a joke, crafted joke, yeah, a joke that you know I did, and you know that's like something that I go to. Oh yeah, I slap the shit out you. So do you think the comedians that responded and or cried on live? <laughs> Um, was it more so not not because they felt like Cat Williams was lying on them, but because they felt like he dis he disturbed the image that their fan base has That's of them, and now like everybody know I'm lying. Now yeah, every, yeah, yeah. everybody like, well, dang, I didn't think Steve. I thought he was a genius. He's stealing folk jokes from you know. What I mean, Bruh. do you think it was more the image than it yeah, was? Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, I don't, I don't know if it it would make if somebody call you a joke thief and you know you're a joke thief. Like, why would you cry? I don't see why you would cry or get mad or anything. I just, I wouldn't say nothing, but I damn sure wouldn't cry about it. Well, if I you steal a joke, steal it. If you're going to steal it, steal it. Don't remix it. That's what I don't like, where you goddamn take everything I said, but you take the part I said last and put that at the front, and the part that I said as a setup, you try to put that in the middle. And no, nah, nigga, I we know that. We know the best investigators are people on Facebook. And so he, they're the best investigators in the world, Facts. and they and I because I've seen so many videos. I'm sure y'all seen there's so many videos. They're pulling up jokes, people's old jokes left mm -hmm. and right. What These, this new crew, this new crew of comedians, bro? That, that's what they do. They be going and they don't know that comedian. Like when, if you meet a comedian, been doing comedy more than ten years, he's on some level a student to com comedy. So he watched some Red Fox. He watched some Richard Pryor. He watched some Eddie Murphy. He watched some Robin Harris. Some uh, you know, he watched a lot of comedians, so it's like these young niggas was still a joke from the seventies that is known. But instead of cat, say dog, or instead of frog, say fucking ostrich. But no, honestly though, we can go from every every age and find people who stole people's Act, jokes. I say it all the time over the course of yeah, over the course of years. You find a comedian that say never stole a joke. Yeah, yeah show yeah, you a lie. Yeah. So I, that's why I was asking, was it more? What joke did you steal? I've, like, I've, I've had to steal jokes because I agreed to too much time. You feel me? Like <laughs> you feel me? Like I, I only been doing comedy three years. This dude just asked me, could I do forty five? Hell yeah! I know I ain't got but twenty six, and you feel me? And the twenty is the best part. You feel me? So I gotta do. I got. I'm gonna do my twenty. And then I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna steal the other 25. And number one yeah, said, you, the if comments were stolen the late Tyler Craig and Nard Joe, I, I actually heard a Nard joke not too long ago, and I was like, man, that dude stole Nard joke. Man, that's not cool. Oh, that's, so, but yeah. Nard stole jokes. But, yeah, but oh, I guess man. it's just it the comedian, I guess the comedian craft, it's cool to. Do you uh, get caught? Do you get caught? Yeah, once you get caught, <laughs> then, then you gotta deal but with it. But would have been more G for like said to say, yeah, I. I more made it made right. it funny. Right. Oh, yeah, I took the joke. It was funny. I, yeah. you, you know what I mean? What, right. I thought it then, then to actually deny it. Then people pull all the stuff that shows that you actually stole the joke. Right. And now you lied twice. Damn it, man! <laughs> and I and, and you didn't you didn't steal. Like it's one thing to take the topic, steal the premise, something like that, nigga. You was sitting on the chair, <laughs> arm up, oh, bobbing to the music, the exact same. It's like, come on, bro. There's no way you can say you didn't steal that. Right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Top five, man. We're gonna go top five. Uh, current, current, your top five current actors or actresses, your top five current actors or actresses. I mean, they're doing something right now, not the 50s and 60s. <laughs> <laughs> top, five top five actors and actresses that's doing something now. Yeah, top five right now. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> Number five, uh, The Rock. I like The Rock. The Rock. I like The Rock. Go ahead. Number four, Jason Statham, the Transporter. Mm. I like the fucking Transporter. <laughs> Kicks ass. Uh, number three, 
Will Smith. Will Smith. Um, you know, he, he slapped somebody, but before that, he, <laughs> he was the man. Okay. Number two. Damn. Who? Marla. Um, damn, who is uh Octavia Spence. Mm. I've been watching a lot of her in uh, different TV series. So that's why I said I'm going to say Octavia Spence. And number one is the motherfucking equalizer. He got to make one more, man. <laughs> he got to make one more, man. And and, and I want to say one why A. Yeah, and, and let, me let me say this. But let me say this. Let me say. Let me. Come on, man. But let me say this. One, one, one. A is his son. He, he's, he, 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 he don't even got to be the equalizer. His John David Washington can be the equalizer. Now, now, now I can rock with that. Okay. Because, because, because I like, because I, I like John, John David Washington is, is a real good actor. Yeah, he, I'm into his series too. I can so. Because I, 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 yeah, you are, you are. <laughs> I got one. Uh, Denzel all the way. I don't care what he is. I, I've never seen a Denzel movie I didn't like. You just like watching Denzel. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I like uh, Ryan Reynolds. Damn. Deadpool is like hilarious to I me. Took my took my shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Samuel Jackson, same way because I watched all that Marvel stuff. And he's still in all of them, even the ones the series. So I like that. Uh, let's see. Because I don't look at the names, but I'm more on the Netflix now yeah, because there's no yeah. really no good movies out. So that's all I got. I'm back to doing three. <laughs> Come on, man. All that, all that stuff going on in the world, man. You, you can't get two more. Think, man. Come, Come on, man. Okay, you stayed like, for this. You up. stayed. You ain't going to give a three? <laughs> all the stuff on Netflix or um, uh, Prime. Okay. Uh, no. What's that? Female. Oh. Um, <laughs> What goes up must come down. No, the one that does uh, Blue Avatar. Avatar. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so, yeah. And she has that Lion King. Yeah, Lion, That's a Lioness, name. Lioness. Lioness is really, cool. yeah. yeah. Uh, I like Fubar with, um, you know, on the sports today. Fubar, Fubar is good. Yeah, it's fine. Right. No, I watched, but I just don't remember the name. No, you could do it, man. Oh, boy. So you took at least two of mine. Thanks for the charades over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Thank you, right, yeah, yeah. I helped him out. Looked out for him. Uh, damn. All right. So uh, I'm gonna say Donald Glover. I mean, I'm gonna say that. Um, last thing he made a movie. Last thing he was in. Uh, the last movie he was in was Solo. Um, uh, Swarm. Um, he has a show coming out, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Smith. Uh, anything else? I'm, I'm ready for you now. You can't mess with I'm off the top. Man. He gonna come back I'm off back. the top now. Uh, let's see here. Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland. You know what I'm saying? Little, little Tom Cruise. Um, what's the dude? Anthony Ramos. Y'all know who Anthony Ramos is? Dude from um, yeah. She's Got to Have It. And um, I think he was in the Transformers movie. Uh, so he's a Latin Tom Cruise to me. Uh, Latin Tom Cruise. Jason Bateman. Yeah, um, I think he's. I just like sarcasm. Like he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. Um, I watch him grow. He's another one you watch grow up. Right, the Silver Spoon days, man. The, um, Zazie Beats. I don't know if y'all know who Zazie Beats <laughs> I just is. Oh, um, <laughs> Van off Atlanta. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She be in a lot of movies. She did an anime movie, Bad Guys, and um, Aquafina. I know it's like got quiet as shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Aquafina, Asian, Asian chick. Um, she kind of like awkward. She was in Shang Chi. Yeah. Oh, and oh, honorable mention Michelle Yao. Michelle Yao. She's uh, to me one of the most epic actors, actresses out at this moment. Yeah, yeah. She's on Netflix. She on a lot of movies. You might yeah. like. You might like all her no, movies. I probably seen her because I watch a lot of those films. You watch Shang Chi. You watch yeah. Shang Chi. She was the auntie. She was the auntie that was whooping, you know, with the dragons. And, yeah, she about that. All right, I'm going to go. Number five, mm-hmm. Liam Neeson. Nah. 
Uh, he don't even like niggas. It don't matter. <laughs> I like him. Hey, hey. Hey, his movies right. be busting. Um, <laughs> who am I going to go for? Uh, Angelina Jolie. Okay. Hey, go, uh, hey. go around now. Yeah. Uh, number three. I'm going to go old uh, Denzel. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to say it. That's how you're supposed yeah, to say it. That's what I'm laughing. Yeah, it's Denzel. <laughs> it's Denzel. Uh, yeah, it's Denzel. Uh, you just say it's Zale. Denzel. I'm, 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 a, I'm a diehard, diehard fan, so I'm going to sneak Bruce Willis in there. Oh, man. Uh, and one more. Um, Dakota Fanning. Really? Yeah, Dakota still can make me cry, even though she fought it. She still can make me cry, bro. She. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I got an honorable mention, Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> she she yes, acting she on something. Oh, she is in She Hulk. Yeah, she is. And she she definitely taught She Hulk how to twerk yeah. on Disney Plus. That's why we. That's why we put that certain stuff on the kids. Come on, she's probably gonna get a Oscar in the near future. Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Mayer. Yes. Oscar Mayer. Right. You heard it here first. Yeah, I heard it here first too. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. All right. Pull us up in a couple years. Yeah, we definitely gonna hold that one, buddy. Hey. Emmy. All right, number one. I just see you one. Uh, she said, I always be Denzel. And then she said, Laura Wright is killing it on General Hospital. That's just two, number one. She's still acting. Uh, <laughs> uh, my Aunt Lena got Viola Davis. That's one mm. of mine. Morgan Freeman, Denzel, Tom Hanks, Queen Latifah. Mm. Queen is a great actress because she played the equalizer. We know she cannot do none of the moves that she's hey. doing. So it's great, great hey. acting. But I watched it. <laughs> I, watch I definitely it. watched I watch it. it too. I, is it good? It is, good. bro. It's, it's, good. it's pretty it's good, good, bro. The, 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 the storyline yeah, good, good, bro. Good. The storyline good. Yeah, I mean, bro. when she do them flips now, they be like, be like "All right, now, <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, all right, Cleo, now stop that. all right, <laughs> all right, now." Khadija knees ain't even that good. Come oh, on, boy. Khadija knees ain't that good. Come on, flavor ain't never had you moving like that. Come on, funny. All right, my mom got it's crazy Chris. That she was 23 <laughs> in uh, Living Single. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> come on. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. The Wheel of The Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time, yeah. Who's that? Oh, man. All right, my mom got Crystal Hazet, Eva Marcel. Mm. I gotta watch that show. Uh, what's the stuff Eva it was on? The the Queens, Queens Men, all something the like Queens Men, something. something like that. Oh, the, 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 the views look so great, but I never have time to go back. I gotta start. Ain't over. the Queens Men about like men stripping or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's about her being. She's some kind of gangster, but she owns a strip club, I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Denzel, DC Young Fly, Miss Pat. Miss Pat's Pat. funny. I mean, she's fun to Miss Pat show though. But but that's just, she's just really being Miss Pat. For real. People know I ain't caught it. I ain't, really? I ain't never I seen it either. Really? Mm-hmm. Hey man, listen. I just saw damn um the apartments. Hey, listen, man. Miss Pat show. I ain't seen that. <laughs> don't don't do it. Don't do, don't it. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Save that five. Miss Yeah. Yeah, unnecessary. Uh, Miss Patchell, hilarious. Y'all should go watch that joke, though. For real? It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Really? Yeah. Oh, who, 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 and to know who, who Miss Pat is. She got, uh, she got Clayton English over there writing with her, don't she? Clayton writing with her on our new show. Uh, just Nisha just started writing with her on the uh, Judge okay. show. Okay. I'm talking about the actual Miss Pat show. Right, that'd be on BET. It, it, it's funny. Okay. Uh, it number one threw in Regina King. My mom mm. threw Lou Gossett in as her last one. Frank Davis got David Aiello. I-, I think that's how you said it, right? David Aiello. Yeah, he's dope. Uh, Denzel, Patina Miller, Don Cheadle. Mm. Yeah, Don one of mine. Morgan Freeman. Kiki got Denzel, Taraji P. Henson. That's another one of mine. Gabrielle Union, Wade, Joseph Sakura, and Rock. Raising Canaan. Yeah, Rock. Hey, she played a role on Raising Canaan, boy. Ooh. Rock thugged out. Well, Rock don't care about nothing and nobody. Uh... Yes, yeah, Axel Cobb is in love with the stallion. Yes, he is. 
Yes, yeah, my, my mom wrote that in here. Uh, Glenn got Angela Bassett, Loretta mm. Devine, the guy from Snowfall. Mm. And, and, and it tripped me out when you find out that guy's really British. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you had to learn how to talk. Yeah, to learn how to talk English. That's, that's dope. But he doesn't sound like He doesn't, but he don't sound British. You would, right. Yeah, you don't pick that British accent up. You got, yes, ma'am. Uh, the guy from <laughs> Transporter <laughs> and Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Eva is the goat in all queens, man. I got to catch all queens, man. I got to go back to from the beginning, though. Uh, oh, but Tina Miller is rock. Got you. I ain't no real name either. All right. I got, uh, I'm trying to catch something nobody had, but like I still failed. I, I got Viola Davis for sure. I got my girl Taraji P. Henson. I got, uh, uh, I also got Daniel Glover. John David Washington slash Denzel. Put them together because hey man, you learn from the goat. That's mm, the goat. Facts. Yes, and last, I got Zendaya. Mm, I think Zendaya, good. Zendaya has grown up right for our eyes, oh, yeah, man, man, and turned to a phenomenal Z- actress. Zendaya. Zendaya. Oh, Zendaya. I thought you were saying Denzel backwards. Or <laughs> I thought he was being silly. <laughs> yeah, that, I know that's 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 that was good. Yeah, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> And, oh my and, God. and that's funny for real. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they call it Mr. Funny for real, huh? <laughs> that's funny for real. Down, Ooh. down, man. Pretty coming out, man. Where you at? Gonna be at next, bro? What you got going oh, on? Man. Talk, uh, tell I'm, where they can I'm, follow you. Yeah, I'm headed to Chicago at the end of the month. Um, I, I'll be here Friday, Saturday, as of now. Um, yeah, yeah. For the most, and then uh, I'm starting my podcast back up. I already started to back up. Uh, damn right. Catch it on YouTube. Talking my shit. Swallowing my spit in the pulpit. Um, yeah, follow me on uh, all social media. Uh, on Facebook is Daryl Smith. On uh, Instagram is the real Daryl Dam. If I ain't funny, you can slap shit out of me. Woo. Are you gonna get booted off again? Now? Oh no, I've learned my lesson. Uh, you know, because when I lost those followers, like when I realized that Gay it was keeps. gone for real, I started sweating. Yeah, it hurts. Like because I had I had. Finally got to the point where I was getting like 15, 20 new followers a day. In fact, no bullshit. Every time. Like, I used to sit on there and just refresh the screen <laughs> and haunt it. Haunt it, it comments, comments. Right. Now, I see 12 on that bitch. I'm going to do a video. <laughs> I'm going to do one right now. <laughs> I've got my chops back. But all of them got good uh, views. I got all thousands. Somebody just told me that once I get back to 100, I'll be, you know, I'll be back in the algorithm for the most part. Because okay. I got people who come in like, oh, this is your new page? So, you know, that was good. L- lesson learned, though. I, I just don't yeah. talk to people. And I, I realize that when I am talking to people who are being disrespectful, I got to laugh while I'm doing it so that I don't get mad. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. Facts. Yeah. You got to play the game, bro. Learn. Yeah. Benjamin, the guru, what you got, brother? Ooh, man. Uh... All I can say is, man, uh, first off, thank y'all for having me up here. Uh, what we, man, uh, what we got coming up, um, Cannabis and Coffee podcast, uh, me and Phoenix. Uh, you can follow me on Benji the Guru. That's T-H-A-G-U-R-U. Uh, I do random stuff. We do random stuff. We live a boring life. Uh, and if you ever see the page, you'll see what I mean by boring life. It, it seemed boring, but you know I can't make it up. I can't explain it. I might walk out this door, see a polar bear, ride that bitch all the way to uh, Spun Divots. And then that's you know we got a whole video about me riding polar bear at Spun Divots. You think you don't when you do? I mean, hey man, hey, you're welcome. Uh, but uh, what I tell y'all every Tuesday, you know, classic conversations. You might see me up here. If you don't, still watch the show. I don't give a damn. I don't, ain't got to be me up here. Come up here. Watch it. I want you to watch it live, too. You never know what you might get on. You might get on here and enjoy yourself. Um, not too many people, though, because this room ain't, it ain't that big. <laughs> you know, and uh, if anybody knows anybody that can gatekeep to Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> anybody. Anybody got the key. <laughs> or if she's the gatekeeper. No, she ain't the gatekeeper. She, now, she, got, she is not the gatekeeper. I but know if anybody is. knows somebody that's close enough to Beyonce to pass a message to <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. Please. <laughs> Please. Number one fan. Please. And you know, can't pressure. nobody talk to Beyonce, though. As a cop, what Thanks. you got, brother? Hey, uh, oh, just, wait a minute. Where they follow yet? You told us already. Oh, yeah. I already told you. Yeah, yeah. You told us. All right. Go ahead. Uh, this is kind of... I'm not going to put his name out there, but... <laughs> if you buy a gun, 
take time to take some, uh, get lessons. Because <laughs> um, a friend of mine shot, this is the not funny part of it, pulling his gun out of his armrest, fired, and it went in a seat, and there's two children in the back. Mm. That's somebody that said, I never owned a gun, and decided to get a gun, and didn't get with under the probably 50 or so friends he has that he knows know how to operate guns. I'm not going to put your name out there, but uh, really, take the time. You owe it to your family. You owe it to yourself. Go ahead and yeah. learn. Learn. Get it right. Fire, shoot at least <laughs> once a month or until you get familiar with it. But you should always fire at least once a month, once every two months, because it's not going to help you if you don't train with it. That's all I got. He put it up like that. Yeah, he pulled it up that's, like that's, this. That's, 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 and he was trying to stick it in his holster in the car. Gun, gun, gun lesson 101. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Just leave he it. He didn't call me. His got. wife did. <laughs> right. That's wild. Or get well, out of the car first. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Appreciate all that, man. And again, um, Michigan Wolverines are national champions. <laughs> So, just, I, so all of our Latin friends. Just in case I didn't mention that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the Philadelphia Eagles are doing that well. Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> National champions. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else I can end it better than that. So, classic conversations with JT and Lowe. And I just saw Ask a Cop. And Ask a Cop. Because they didn't want to hear about the Michigan Wolverines <laughs> are national champions. Champions. This is classic conversation with JT and Low. Good luck, JT. Break a leg, yes, as they sir. said, and you play uh, in Pittsburgh, man. We real proud of you, brother. Classic conversation, with JT and Low, and we out. You dig? <laughs> <laughs>